If a law states that a prisoner will face double punishment for escaping from prison, now if the prisoner flees due to a deadly fire within the prison, the question arises as to whether the double punishment will still apply in such circumstances. Let's explore this scenario. Statutory interpretation typically begins with a literal understanding of the legislation's wording. If such interpretation in the literal sense leads to absurdity, then the interpretation will be modified to ensure justice is delivered. In the year 1857, for the first time, Lord Wensleydale propounded the golden rule of interpretation in Gray v. Pearson. Thereafter, this rule has been famous by the name of Wensleydale's golden rule. The golden rule of interpretation is the deviation from the literal rule of interpretation. To avoid any sort of inconsistency in the interpretation of statutes or vagueness or absurdity, we choose the principle of golden rule of interpretation. Let's discuss the case of Adler v. George. Under Section 3 of the Official Secrets Act 1920, it was an offence to obstruct HM forces in the vicinity of a prohibited area. Adler was arrested for obstructing forces while in the prohibited area. Under the literal rule, Adler was not in the vicinity of the area, he was in the area and so was not infringing the terms of the act. The golden rule was applied to extend the meaning of vicinity to in the areas or in the vicinity and avoid the possible absurd outcome. Lee v. Knapp In this case, the interpretation of the word stop was involved under Section 77, Subsection 1 of the Road Traffic Act 1960. which provided that a driver causing an accident shall stop and give his information his car's identification marks in case of where damage has been done to another vehicle in this case the driver after causing an accident stopped for only a moment and then moved away applying the golden rule the word stop was interpreted to mean to stop for a reasonable period of time required for the interested persons to make necessary inquiries about the accident Fitzpatrick v. Sterling Housing Association Limited The question in the case was whether a homosexual partner could claim a statutory tenancy right like a heterosexual spouse. The court found that the word spouse in the legislation did not include same-sex partners, but the word family members could be extended to include same-sex partners living together thus allowing the appeal. The court used the golden rule to ensure justice without overstepping the legislative boundaries avoiding the literal rule. State of Madhya Pradesh vs Azad Bharat Financial Company. A vehicle carrying apples was found to contain opium contrary to the invoice which only mentioned apples. The transport company had no knowledge of the opium kept in the vehicle. The critical issue was whether the strict wording of section 11 of the Opium Act 1878 should be followed to confiscate the vehicle even if the transport company had no knowledge of the opium the high court ruled that confiscating the vehicle when company had no knowledge of the opium would be unjust using the golden rule the court interpreted the word shall in section 11 as may when the defendant was unaware of the contraband ramji misar was a state of bihar In this case the Supreme Court clarified that when interpreting section 6 of the Probation of Offenders Act 1958 which provided for relief from imprisonment to person below the age of 21 the court held that the point for determining the offender's age is not the date of the offense but the date when the trial court pronounces the sentence if an accused was under 21 years of age at the time of the offense but had turned 21 by the date of the court's judgment they would not qualify for the statute's benefit criticism of golden rule vague and subjective the term absurdity in the golden rule is imprecise and open to subjective interpretation leading to inconsistency in its application inconsistent interpretation different judges may apply the golden rule differently resulting in inconsistent outcomes which undermines the rule's intended purpose of providing clarity judicial discretion the literal golden and mischief rules rely on judges discretion and lack independent authority making the application less predictable lack of definite guidelines the absence of clear guidelines for when to apply the golden rule creates uncertainty for judges and lawyers potential for bias 
the golden rule can allow judges to introduce their personal biases and views into the interpretation of the law deviating from established guidelines so what do you think is the answer to the problem mentioned at the beginning of the video do answer in the comment section